Scene Script Have you ever wondered how cash stuffing works? In the hustle and bustle of our digital world, where money often seems like an abstract concept represented by numbers on a screen, there's a growing trend that's taking us back to the basics. It's called cash stuffing, a system that's as tangible as it gets. Imagine this, physical cash, envelopes, and a systematic approach to budgeting. Sound old school? Maybe, but don't be too quick to dismiss it. This practice is gaining traction among savvy financial enthusiasts who value the visibility and control that cash stuffing offers. So what exactly is cash stuffing? In essence, it's a budgeting technique that harnesses the power of cold, hard cash. It's about allocating specific amounts of money to different categories of expenses. And yes, you guessed right, we're using envelopes here. Each envelope represents a category, and the cash inside is the allocated budget for that category. It's as simple as that. But don't let its simplicity fool you. Cash stuffing is more than just putting money into envelopes. It's about understanding your spending habits, taking control of your finances, and making your money work for you. It's about creating a visual representation of your money, where every dollar has a job, and you can see exactly where your money is going. In a world where financial management can often feel overwhelming, cash stuffing offers a refreshing, tangible approach. It's a way to reconnect with your money, to feel its weight in your hands, and to see its value in a very real, very concrete way. As we've seen, cash stuffing is far from being a fad. It's a growing trend that's helping many people regain control over their finances, and it's certainly worth exploring. It's a journey into the heart of your financial life, one envelope at a time. If you find this interesting, brace yourself as we delve deeper into the world of cash stuffing. So, what exactly is cash stuffing? This simple question serves as our gateway into an intriguing and practical approach to budgeting. Cash stuffing, in its purest form, is the physical process of stuffing cash into different envelopes or containers, each one representing a specific budget category. Now this might sound a little old school, but it's a method that has proven its worth time and again. Imagine this, you have just been paid and you have a stack of cash at hand. Instead of depositing it all into a bank account where the money can easily blur into one big sum, you separate it. You allocate specific amounts to different categories. This could be anything from groceries, transportation, utilities, entertainment, or even that vacation you've been dreaming about. Each category gets its own envelope or container, and voila, you've just started cash stuffing. The magic of cash stuffing lies in its tangibility. Unlike digital transactions, where money can seem abstract and elusive, Cash stuffing provides a tactile, visual representation of your budget. When you physically place your hard-earned money into these categories, you are actively participating in your financial management. You are making decisions about where your money goes and how much you can spend in each category. This hands-on approach to budgeting can bring a new level of control to your financial life. It's a stark reminder that once the cash in the envelope runs out, that's it. There's no dipping into other funds without physically moving the money. It's a system that forces you to think twice before you spend and can help you avoid impulse purchases. But remember, cash stuffing isn't just about restriction. It's about becoming more aware of your spending habits and taking control of your financial future. It's about making your money work for you rather than the other way around. Now that we understand the basics, it's time to learn how to do it. Scene Script. Are you ready to learn the art of cash stuffing? Our journey begins with crafting a budget. It's like drawing a map for your money. You need to know where every single dollar is going. So start by listing your income sources and how much you earn from each. Then, jot down your fixed expenses like rent, utilities, car payments, and the like. Follow this by detailing your variable expenses, such as groceries, entertainment, eating out, and personal care. Don't forget to leave room for savings too. After your budget is set, it's time to make a trip to the bank you're going to withdraw the cash you need for your variable expenses. Now you might be wondering, why not just use a debit card? Well, using cash makes you more aware of your spending. It's much harder to part with a crisp $20 bill than to swipe a piece of plastic, isn't it? Now that you have your cash, let's move on to the fun part, stuffing the envelopes. This is where you'll need some envelopes and a pen. Write down the name of each variable expense category on separate envelopes. For example, you might have envelopes for groceries, eating out, entertainment, and personal care. Next, refer back to your budget and stuff each envelope with the cash allocated for that category. Let's say you've set aside $100 for groceries. 
You'd then place $100 in your groceries envelope. Repeat this for each category until all your cash is distributed. Now, here's the crucial bit. When it's time to spend, you take money from the appropriate envelope. Going grocery shopping? Grab the groceries envelope. Heading out for a movie? Take the entertainment envelope. If you run out of cash in an envelope before the end of the month, it's a clear signal that you've overspent in that category. But what if you have cash left over at the end of the month? Well, congratulations, you've stayed under budget. You can choose to roll this money over to the next month, add it to your savings, or treat yourself. Remember, the aim of cash stuffing isn't to restrict your spending. Rather, it's to give you control and visibility over your money. It's about making intentional spending decisions and understanding the value of each dollar. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to cash stuffing. It might seem a bit tedious at first, but give it a shot. You'll find that it's a simple yet powerful tool to manage your money. With these steps, you're well on your way to mastering cash stuffing. Scene script. Wondering why you should consider cash stuffing? Well, let's delve into the numerous benefits of this practice. The foremost advantage of cash stuffing lies in its ability to aid in visualizing your spending. When you're dealing with physical bills, it's easier to grasp how much money you're parting with every time you make a purchase. For example, when you're shelling out a $50 bill for a meal, you're more likely to feel the pinch compared to swiping a credit card. This tangible aspect of cash can lead to a deeper understanding of your spending habits and, ultimately, more mindful consumption. Moreover, cash stuffing can be a potent deterrent to impulsive buying. With a finite amount of cash in hand, you're less likely to splurge on non-essential items. It's easy to get carried away with a credit card, but when you're working with a set amount of cash, every dollar counts. You'll think twice before spending on that extra pair of shoes or that fancy gadget you don't really need. This is because cash stuffing inherently encourages you to prioritize your spending, leading to healthier financial habits. In addition to curbing impulsive purchases, cash stuffing promotes disciplined saving. By allocating a specific amount of money to different envelopes or categories, you're essentially setting a budget for yourself. This makes it easier to save for long-term goals such as a vacation, a new car, or even a house. As you physically set aside cash for these goals, you get a sense of progress and achievement that's often missing with digital banking. It's a powerful motivator that can keep you on track with your savings goals. Furthermore, cash stuffing offers a sense of control. In a world where financial transactions are increasingly digital and somewhat abstract, handling physical cash can be reassuring. It gives you a clear picture of your financial state, allowing you to make informed decisions about your spending and saving. Cash stuffing also provides an opportunity for financial education. For families, it can be a great way to teach children about money management. Seeing money divided into different categories can help them understand the concept of budgeting and the importance of saving. It's an invaluable life lesson that they can carry into adulthood. Lastly, cash stuffing can be therapeutic. There's something satisfying about organizing your money, labeling your envelopes, and seeing where every dollar is going. It can make managing money less daunting and more enjoyable, which is a big win for those who find finances stressful. With these benefits, it's clear why cash stuffing is gaining traction. So why not give it a try? You might just find that it's the missing puzzle piece in your financial management toolkit. While cash stuffing has its perks, it also has a few pitfalls. Now, let's dive into some common mistakes people make while cash stuffing, and more importantly, how to avoid them. One of the most common pitfalls is not tracking expenses. Cash stuffing is all about getting a handle on your finances, and you can't do that if you don't know where your money is going. It's like trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. So, how do you avoid this? Simply keep a record. Write down every penny that you spend. It might seem tedious, but it's the only way to get a clear picture of your spending habits. Next up on the list is not reviewing the budget regularly. A budget is not a set it and forget it kind of thing. It's a living, breathing document that needs your attention. It's like a plant. You need to water it and give it sunlight to make it grow. In the case of a budget, you need to review it and update it regularly to ensure it's serving its purpose. If you're not checking in on your budget at least once a month, you're doing it wrong. So review your budget, check your progress, and make necessary adjustments. Another common mistake is not adjusting the budget as per needs. Life is unpredictable and your budget needs to reflect that. Maybe you lost your job or perhaps you got a raise. Maybe you've had a baby or perhaps you've moved to a new city. All of these life changes affect your budget. 
If your budget isn't changing with your life, it's not working for you. So how do you avoid this pitfall? Easy, adjust your budget as needed. Now let's talk about a pitfall that's a little less obvious, not setting aside money for emergencies. When you're stuffing cash, it can be tempting to allocate every dollar to a specific purpose. But life is full of surprises, and not all of them are pleasant. A car breakdown, a medical emergency, an unexpected home repair, these things can happen at any time, and they can wreak havoc on your budget if you're not prepared. So, always set aside a portion of your cash for emergencies. It's like an insurance policy for your budget. Lastly, let's touch on the pitfall of not celebrating small victories. Cash stuffing is a journey, and like any journey, it has its ups and downs. It's important to celebrate the ups, the small victories, because they motivate you to keep going. So, don't forget to pat yourself on the back when you reach a financial milestone, no matter how small. Avoiding these pitfalls can help you make the most of cash stuffing. Remember, the goal of cash stuffing is not just to control your finances, but to make your money work for you. And with these tips, you're well on your way to doing just that. Let's sum up what we've learned about cash stuffing. Cash stuffing is a tangible and visual method of managing your money. It's a way to physically see where every dollar is going. It's not just about stashing away a bunch of cash, but about assigning each dollar a specific job. This tactile approach to budgeting can make handling money feel more real, more personal, and ultimately, more manageable. In our journey, we've walked through the basics of cash stuffing, breaking it down into simple, easy-to-follow steps. We've learned how to categorize our expenses, how to allocate our income to these categories, and how to stick to our allocations. We've also learned how to adjust our budget as our financial situation changes, ensuring that our system remains flexible and resilient. We've delved into the benefits of this method, highlighting the increased control and awareness it offers over our finances. By physically handling our cash, we're more connected to our money, making us think twice before spending. It fosters discipline and encourages us to save more, spend less, and live within our means. However, we've also explored the potential pitfalls of cash stuffing and how to avoid them. We've discussed the importance of security, the need for discipline, and the potential for overspending. We've looked at how to strike a balance between using cash and digital transactions and how to make sure we're not just moving money around but actually saving. But remember, cash stuffing isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a tool that can be customized to fit your unique financial situation and goals. It's a starting point, a way to kickstart your journey towards financial literacy and independence. With this knowledge, you're ready to explore the world of cash stuffing on your own. Remember, it's not just about the money, it's about taking control of your finances.